Hey y'all and thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today we're going to do a canvas, uh, on canvas, a pour, a dirty pour, and then going to do a chain pull over it. The reason to do a chain, a pull of any kind, chain or strings or whatever, is to either add to your project or your painting or uh, give dimension uh, and, and, add, and change the, the texture and you know so it's still adding to but um, I'll explain more when we get into it what I mean by that and hey y'all and don't forget to check the links below I have some links to uh, my Amazon products that are either my picks choices or on my wish list <laughs> so don't forget to check out all the links below and I'll have a description of what we do here today below as well so now let's get right to it So this is the chain that we'll be using, this little ball chain. I didn't know how much, so I've cut a couple of pieces that we'll have ready. I'm gonna be using True Navy. Uh, this says it is Silver Sterling. And I have Laguna. So I've got three, my three paints mixed up here. And then I have this extra which I probably, as it turns out, didn't need to make this one, but this is what we'll be dipping the chain in, is the, this, the silver sterling. So, we're gonna start with layering, layering the colors here. Whoops, I'm gonna put the silver in between each of the colors, each of the layers. Now, what I was referring to, adding to, like if you're trying to create a flower look or something, that's what I, I meant uh, in the opening about adding to. If I wanted to add, you know, a flower look, or in a lot of cases, you just want to change the dimension, change the, uh, change the flow, change the shape, give it texture. Um, And that is what I meant by that. Okay, so now this you could do uh, in any any way. You could just straight pour it on, uh, do a flip cup or whatever. But we're just, I'm just going to start pouring here in the center. And I think we're just about to the bottom. Maybe I wanna get as much out as will possibly come out. We don't like to waste. And I'm gonna catch the drip there. Ooh, I'm liking the colors a lot. This is a 12 by 16, uh, canvas I grabbed this one at Walmart um, they're pretty I was pretty pleased uh, so far with the canvases that I got uh, there they the, the the frame feels really good I haven't taken one apart to look at it yet and by the way on that note 
do you all know how to do a reverse canvas? And I've been thinking about, uh, if that's an interest to anybody, uh, doing a reverse canvas and showing you how really easy it is. I have seen some people compl uh, complicate that to the, you know, I'm for, hmm, I want it to look right, but I don't want to overcomplicate things. That's just me. Uh, so, that being said, if you want to know, see my way of doing a reverse canvas, you all comment below and let me know. I wasn't sure how these colors were gonna look, but I absolutely love them together. Now I have a conservative amount of paint on here, which is why it's not just zipping off of the canvas. My consistency was perfect, so uh, just FYI, I just didn't mix a whole huge amount. I just didn't wanna I just didn't want to waste a lot. Okay, now if you're like me and thinking, wow, that looks gorgeous just like it is, well, it does. But we're gonna do, we're gonna add two. And I'm gonna get my, my little chain and just dip it down into this silver. so that maybe I don't make a huge mess. We'll get a paper towel. <clears throat> and I had some comments. For those who worry about um, getting your paint recipe, because I see that all the time, you know, the recipe. It's not a, it's not a big, um, it's not baking a cake. And I, I'll talk more when I, <laughs> in a minute, uh, I can't, I can sometimes do two things at once, but sometimes not. Okay, anyway, the recipe is not a big scary thing. It shouldn't be a big scary thing. Um, and, and different um, mediums are going to, um, to give you different consistencies. Uh, today I used Liquitex. Liquitex takes less than Floetrol. Uh, I have used the GAC, but to tell you right now, it's been a while, so to tell you right now, uh, I will get some and use that to, uh, to do a comparison. But, uh, Liquitex is like a two to one, two parts of your Liquitex to one part paint. Uh, it, when using, not Liquitex, I said that so wrong, I apologize. Floetrol is two, two to one. Liquitex is one to one. Unless it's a heavier, denser paint, uh, and then you may have to add a little more or always add a little bit of water. But again, don't be afraid to try. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't work right the first time, you just do it over. That is why I recommend your starting uh, 
when you're starting to pour paint, your first ones to use um, inexpensive canvases. It's so fun to watch this, what this chain does. It's kind of mesmerizing. I'm just wiping my chain off here with a paper towel and reusing it. I, I didn't want to use my whole spool of chain because I do use this chain in my jewelry making. I'm going to do one more and then I'll stop. I am absolutely in love with these colors. Okay, I'll stop there because y'all know I can just keep going and then I went go too far, but um, I'm gonna stop right here. <laughs> I am super happy with how this piece came out and you know, your ch the choice is yours, chain versus strings. You add to, add dimension, add flowers, just to create something different, a little more texture in your painting and this one, I just couldn't be happier. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I appreciate you subscribers. I look forward to your comments and your likes and shares. Love those thumbs up. Uh, if you've just popped by Design by Kathy and you're new, I hope you'll subscribe as well. Keep up with us next month. I'm gonna be coming to you from Texas. Got a lot of collaborations. Uh, this time I promise I'm getting the family together and we're gonna do some really cool stuff. So keep watching, don't miss out. Have a great day.